This club represents a football balmy town. All right, it's absolutely football mad. Barrytown United as a club have only been in existence for four years, of course. Uh, prior to that, we were Barrytown. Uh, we had 10 years under the previous owner of Barrytown, um, and it was just a downhill slide uh, for, for 10 years. Sadly, uh, the previous owner decided to withdraw us from the league, which meant our membership was, was uh, ex you know, expunged, if you like meaning that technically there was no club. Through the fans, the supporters, and uh, through the hard work of many other um, individuals, we managed to uh, you know, um, keep the club going and managed to win um, a court case. And the result of that meant that we were placed in Division 3 of the Welsh Football League. The best thing about that experience for me as a manager was that all our players, apart from one, stayed with us throughout this period. I've watched Bytown in Division 1, Division 2. I may have even seen Division 3, uh, Division 3 games. So um, I've been following the, the club since its demise, if you like, uh, since it's become united and, and not just Bytown. So it's great that the club's back here. And um, sometimes I feel as though I'm not, I'm not as worthy as the rest of the lads, because some of the lads have been here from, from Division 3, from when the, the club was almost on its back. Yeah, so obviously when, when we dropped down, it was, um, well, before we actually got put back into Division 3, it was, we had a moment where we weren't really sure whether we were actually going to be a team again. Um, so for a player, from a player's point of view, it, it, you almost had one eye looking elsewhere because you weren't really sure what was going to happen. Um, but luckily everything worked out and, and the club is now in a much stronger position. Uh, and as players, everybody who stuck with us were firm believers that we, we definitely made the right choice. To offer a whistle-stop tour, we then won Division 3 at the first time of asking. Division 2 at the first time of asking. We finished runners up in Division 1, then we won Division 1, and now we find ourselves back into the Welsh Premier League. It's been um, like a phoenix rising from the ashes over the last four years, so it's been fantastic. You know, three championships, the runners up, um, and we're back where we were we've 14 years ago now, uh, back in the Welsh Premier League. I think obviously for you personally, you've, you've sort of seen it all now, but. What makes this club so special? Hmm. I haven't seen it all. I'd have seen it all when we go to Europe. Um, it's, it's the people, I think. Yeah, the people make it special because, you know, what is a club at the end of the day? A club can be a stadium, a club can be bricks and mortar, a club can be facilities, but, but in reality, I'd rather have rubbish facilities and have great people. Okay, um, and we are lucky because, you know, whilst we compete at the top table now of Welsh football, for many years, I mean for eight maybe out of the 11 years I've been here, it was literally trying to make ends meet, you know, and it was the supporters who were paying the bills, the supporters who were raising the money. The fans were incredible. Um, best in this in this system without a doubt you hear them every Saturday and that's when we were in Division 3, 2, 1 and now in the Premier they're, they're brilliant I still think to this day why do I support even though we're in the Welsh Premier League and everything but I think it's simply because it's a proper football club to support it's a, a club to love and it's a club to actually get behind. I stand there and I just look at the players and I look at the team and I think I'm proud to be supporting Barrytown United. I'll be honest with you, it's an absolute privilege. There are times whereby it's tough, 
There are times whereby it really challenges you. It's uh, and it's grown arms and legs in recent years. You know, we've gone from 30 odd players up to 600 odd players in in no time. But it's all worth it because you know you're giving kids an opportunity to represent the town. You're giving boys an opportunity to play for a fantastic football club, and you're giving the people who stood by us through absolutely everything the opportunity to shout their team on the Welsh Premier League again. So, um, yeah, I think the boys can be quite proud of everything they've done there. But in the end, um, I thought, well, I'll go and support my local team, and ever since then, I just I never stopped supporting them. I had yellow and blue blood in the way through. <laughs>